Buongiorno everyone, and welcome to Florence, Italy. There's no better place to introduce this city than up here at the Piazzale Michelangelo. And I'm using this viewpoint to illustrate the skyline of Florence the way you see it today. And that church that's closest to us here is the Basilica of Santa Croce, which is technically the world's largest Franciscan church. And construction on that building started in the year 1294. Across town, you see that massive marble-clad church with the big red dome on it. That is the Cathedral of Florence, which is technically the world's third largest Christian church. And construction there started in the year 1296. Across town again, that big brownstone tower that you see is a building known as Palazzo Vecchio. It was built as Town Hall beginning in the year 1299, and it still serves as Town Hall today, right? Not bad for continuity there, right? About seven centuries or so. And then that pointy tower just beyond sits on the major Dominican Church of Florence, which is called Santa Maria Novella. If any of you have ever taken a train to this city, you may remember getting off at a train station with the same name, because it's located right behind the church. Okay? And that church went up in the year 1279. Now, the reason I'm throwing all these dates at you right off the bat is that you may have picked up a pattern here, and that is that almost the entire skyline of this city dates back to the year 1300. And this is a very important point to begin with, because most people who come to Florence come here looking for something called the Renaissance, right? That rebirth of all things Greek and Roman. But consider that the Renaissance does not begin until the year 1400. So technically speaking, Florence is not a Renaissance city. It is a medieval city where the Renaissance began. 